Where is empty barrel? There's all these filled barrels on the list, but where's the empty one? Same place engine is. Okay, I see engine on the list. Oh, there's empty barrel. One steel plate. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, we'd have to, like, move that explosives crafter somewhere else to, to actually fit that in. I can't believe saplings aren't even an expected resource of trees. Uh, Jack? Hmm. Second to the right is pointing the wrong way. It's pointing down. No! No, that's impossible. Jack, You're crazy. Jack. Second to the right. Do you, I mean, do you I, really. I am trying to figure out. Do, do you know? How many of these fucking arms there are? Which one you're actually referring the to? The transporter belt! Second to the right! Ah. Uh... Lordy! Okay! Just took two more words, man. Yeah, I thought Jack turned another inserter around. I mean, yeah, inserter is typically the first thing you jump to. Not belt, but... Doesn't really matter anymore, it's fixed. Oh shoot, I used the wrong pile of trees.
resolution is definitely lowered. I mean, yeah, look at look at how far it's gotten from all those hives up. Your trees are definitely making a difference. Oh, the robots are making those noises. Robots are slow. Because we don't have any of the upgrades. I'm honestly questioning how much that would actually help. Because, like, what's the upper limit to robots you can have in a system? It's 50 per stack, and you can have multiple stacks per, uh... Oh, board. wait, they're moving stacks of items instead of a single... That... Ah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, they, they can move stacks of items, and they can also move multiple stacks of items if you upgrade them. I don't think we'd be able to keep up with that upgrade, if I'm being honest. makes them more efficient. They need to grab multiple types of items. If if there's chests on the way and there's more items that a, the requester that they're going to uh, is requesting, they'll pick the they'll pick up the items on the way. That's fair. I saw a robot go to... Looked like it went from... This... Hey, where, where are you going? Where are you going, bro? Oh, he's going to charge, okay. Wow, they charge really fast. Oh, they recharged... Four times one? Why didn't we have one of those robo-ports? Next to the requester chest? Don't need one next to it? I mean, it would probably make the charge distance shorter. I mean, again, it'd probably help if we just had faster robots. So then they could get places faster and then they. And since they basically charge in one second. You're a robot. You're a bitch. How dare you? Like, watch how long that guy stays at the RoboPort for. Okay? But, like... I still think either way it would be faster to have, like, a RoboPort in between all of these. Because... Otherwise, it's going to move all the way to one of the others to charge, which is just going to take longer, regardless of the robot's need. Efficiency. Well, if you want to pull one down, then go ahead.
Nope to sell. Never offer criticism. I just don't understand. Put one down if you think it's a good idea. Fuck. I still can't get over the fact that we actually have, like, a box filled with gears. I don't think that's actually been true, like, since we've started. You know, maybe... Is there anything special a robot for, uh, does other than, like, charging and then storing robots when they're not in use? Uh, you can put... Uh, repair kits in them, and construction bots will repair things. So... Why would we not want them, like, evenly spaced throughout the base, then? Because you don't need that many! I... Do you see how far their range goes? They have a supply area of 50 by 50 and a construction area of 110 by 110. I mean, sure, but it's like a distance between them thing. And they can all make them, no matter what. They, they will never get to a point where they can't reach the RoboPort. I mean, it's not a matter of whether or not they can reach them, it's how long it takes them to reach one. I... I really don't understand. The main problem, really, is just that we need faster robots. Okay. Now, hear me out. Faster robots will make the system more efficient. But, no matter how fast the robot is, it will still take it a couple of seconds to get to a RoboPort to charge and then get back onto its route. Right? That'll always be true, no matter what. Well... Unless you literally place RoboPorts in every square centimeter of the space. Okay, Chris. The, the hyperbole is not appreciated. It also takes energy to hold to have these roboports just exist. Um, it looks to me like they have a charge like a battery, and no, it... that's how much it's using. That's, okay, okay, that, is, that is, the bar is uh, basically going from minimum consumption to max consumption. Alright, alright. I see how it is. So, wait, the... So I'm noticing while I'm holding this, there's a green area and an orange. Green is construction, orange is logistics. Ah. Alright.
Fine. Yeah, we can finally set that centrifuge to the Kovarax. Nice shot. Can we do that? Purple research fucking sucks! Robot speed increases logistic and concern. I don't know why I thought it didn't. Okay, I'm willing to agree to this one. Twenty-nine more uranium two thirty-five for this thing to just start generating two thirty-five. What the? You know be. Nice, though. Now that we can use construction robots to carry, like, the finished advanced circuits places, we can probably set, like, a way efficient, way more efficient production lineup. That would be nice. No electric circuits? That's fine, but the main thing that's fucking with, like, how we can actually space these is... Well, actually, I guess the copper wire is also. Hopefully the copper production should be fine, given all the shit I just threw together up there, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll be like I am, we're gonna need a second line. Hopefully not, but uh, who can fucking say, am I right? reason we don't have more centrifuges, because I've mentioned it before, and you haven't done it, is it like some part of this production line here that's holding us up, or let's We don't need more currently, because... Yeah, what's holding us up is random chance. Yeah. How so? Sure. Well, unless we want to make more uranium miners. Why? We probably should? Oh my god. I mean, honestly, I feel like we should just have a field of, like, centrifuges and just processing shit, considering they seem to be super fucking slow. Oh wait, no, it's the... Oh. Yeah, no, if it's just, like, the chance of mining the fucking right type, then... What? Um, I, no, the chance of right. I keep seeing the centrifuge the right turn off, so we don't even have enough miners going into the current one right now. Yeah, it's just... I don't want to stay a mess, but it's upgraded. <clears throat> yeah, Kyle, I think the tree set set up up there is currently good enough. I mean, look, look at how much it's retreated. I think the pollution we're producing is only gonna go down from here. So, like, you're fine. Well, I I did make fully make the Great Wall of Trees. You <laughs> made a monstrosity. Can the train still get through? Yeah. 
it doesn't cover the tracks at all. But Patty is just so much, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I like how, like, after you finished up the wall the first time, you just went ahead and was like, you know, let's make a few trees just thrown about. Sprinkle some happy trees in there. Yeah. And I even renamed the station. <laughs> Oh, is that that hive? Is that always been there? That's what always been there. Well, I think I see the one that's been attacking our stone facility. Uh, no, that was not always there. Yeah. Chris I and I, I definitely like took out out most of the shit on that coast. Oh, so if you do have, like, just more spare trees, the stone facility might use, like, a few. I'm not asking you to win anything like you just did for, like, the iron one, because, like... Stone facility exactly has trees. You do not have to do that. <laughs> you do exactly, exactly what you did for the iron one. If you just went back to trying to make the nuclear stuff work better. Yeah, that's not your thing, Chris. Let Kyle have something. You're doing robots or some shit, I don't know. Well, what else to do for a robot? The robots need... Okay, here's an idea. You find places where a production line could be made, like, better by using robots instead of a stupid... Everywhere. Everywhere could be made better. That's well, the problem. No, actually, Absolutely that isn't Absolutely everything. That is a lie. The stuff that needs, like, a constant flow of things in a, like, in a speed that I don't think the robots would be able to, like, keep up with until they got to, like, end game speed. I mean, and, like, we can have a stack of 50 robots in one stack of the RoboPort thing. I just say, things like the iron plates, I think, work better on belts than they would with robots currently. Each robot can hold a stack of 50 ro- what the f- no. Why, what is going on by is on fire? Uh, there's like a random square of pollution that's not connected to anything. Don't worry about it. There are dead trees there, and I don't think they're helping with the pollution. Alright. Uh, yeah. They don't do it as fast. Meanwhile, Come there's on. like trees sprinkled around everywhere else. I think that's. Yeah. yeah, dead, dead, dead and dry trees remove pollution ten times as slow. So yeah, that's that's why. Huh. Oh, wow, you're you're just gonna run down there. Huh? You you can take the train. It's almost empty of stone as it is. It's not like we really need stone. No, he's using the walkway. I mean, I guess it's there for a reason. Do you need more? Yeah, for all the nuclear shit. Which uses stone. Yeah. Somebody should set that up, right? Yeah. You can't see me. I mean, if... <sighs> I hope you get hit by a bus. There's no buses in this game. <laughs> What a great counter-argument. See, Chris, that's why I said I hope, not I will do this to you. Yeah, I mean, what you I could think... say is I'm going to run you over with a tank. Yeah, but that wouldn't be a bus now, would it? You know, Chris, the things I want you to look for is, like, the places that need a specific resource to go a stupidly long distance. Even though there's not very much of it. Copper plate. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. But we'd also need to redo this, if that's what's gonna happen. Well, no, we just have it drop in the chest. Yeah, that would work fine. <laughs> We'd also need more robots. Then why don't you make more? Because fuck you, that's why. 
I mean, we have a frame making machine just sitting over here. I don't believe you. But there's only 22. Well, I just took a stack because you need them for the uh, science. And I'm just gonna use these these 22 to make 22 logistic robots. All right. It'd probably also be nice to have robots carrying, like, the research long distances, because then to some of these places the plates are just bad. Hell, if we did that, maybe we could get blue research at, like, a decent level, because honestly, there's just never enough. Even when we have a backlog of advanced circuits, they just can't keep up. It's pretty sad, so with the robots, we could probably set up, like, just a way more efficient system for that. And there's the tree for everything. Hey Kyle, it's, it's more the side we need it on is on like the exact opposite of what you're doing. Look, look at this, look at this line of 22 robots. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. My favorite part is that that's 22. Just in that line right there. Okay. That's stupid. <laughs> yeah, like another one we could do is like maybe this. Just because like there's not that much, so it wouldn't we carry it like this distance, basically, and I think that alone would help us at least decrease the fucking clutter. Which is kind of... Ah, the robots are I'm only carrying one actually. wire at a time. They, you, you can have stacks of... stacks of furnaces. What? Hold on. Oh yeah, no, they only take one at a time. Uh, of course they do. They take so much wire! There's so much! What do you mean? I just... Oh wait, no, they're taking one at a time. Yes. I thought you said they took 50! What? No! That's that, that's the snack size for a fucking robot! In a I robot! I thought form. those were robots! These are robots, <laughs> yes! You can stack 50 robots! This endeavor was wasted. God, okay, the capacity takes blue research to- uh Okay. Really? We just, what we we're gonna research. do, I'm- um, Yeah, we're- I'm gonna set up research in a new spot. Do I have some of these? Some- Wait. We can make assembling machine threes now. Yes. Yes, we can. And eventually we can even make assembling machines. Shh. I'm thinking. Fine. I don't need no, your you noises don't. right now. You don't think. When do you ever think? I swear to God, I will remove all the teeth from your skull. Turn them into dentures. And then use them to fucking eat you. I will eat you with your own teeth. Kiki. You know I'm kinky. That's like my one personality trait. Do it. <laughs> 